Welcome everyone to the next episode of the Northamptonshire career mode. Been a bit of a mixed bag yet again. Uh, we've had an okay start the 20 over trophy. The last two county championship games before the T20 trophy were quite interesting. We'll go straight to them first before we recap this, the results we've had. So you were last here guys when, when we were beaten by Kent by our six wickets. So the next game we took on Warwickshire who are dominant to say the least. Burgess with 276 and Rhodes 183. It was a pretty long um, torrid effort to, um, till they declared. It was just a struggle all round. In response, 445 all out. Uh, Anderton 109, 250s for the openers. Rosenton 61. Willie 54, who's back from um, international duty, share of the wickets. They enforced the follow-on, and we posted 322 for five with Levy 150 and Anton 68 making the bulk of those runs. So that was a pretty much a batting paradise. And this was a big game against Middlesex, and we didn't turn up. Simple as that. Uh, they post 296 batting first. It was looking okay. We had them 195 for seven. We really should have got them out for around 220, but it was just a late rally from Harris and Holland. Got them into a good spot. Zaib 4 for 72. Cotton, 3.52. Probably the pick of the bowlers there. We trailed quite heavily in the uh, first innings. We only could master 228. Uh, Ros Rosenton was good with 73. And there are a few starts there that guys would be ruining, not kicking on and making that big score. Next innings, Middlesex, 267. Connor McCurr has been having some outstanding spells um, in the county championship. He just, when he gets wickets and on a roll, he gets plenty of them. And he certainly delivered there. And again, um, another wee opportunity there, 7 for 201, and they got 267. Yeah, the um, second innings of ours is just disappointing. No one really standing out there. And we got a little injury to Vascon loss. So I'll just quickly go to the uh, domestic table there. We are 15 points behind uh, Middlesex and eights and safety uh, with four games to go. If we do get relegated, it's just the way it is. We'll just have to rebound and um, get back up there immediately. It's, a, it's, it's good that we got this experience this early in the um, Division 1, but I don't think we're quite ready. But anyhow, we'll get back to the uh, trophy results. So the first game... Durham posted 182 for 6. Uh, the bowlers, uh, Neil Buck, are 1 for 25. I thought he was quite good. Not oh, cool. Uh, we were looking okay in this game uh, in patches. Like, uh, 152 for 7. So we had Lubber Shane at the wicket. We were a chance, but couldn't quite get over the line there. We still had uh, 10 deliveries to get 9 runs. So that's what the disappointing aspect is. A uh, Salisbury, uh, 4 for 21. Uh, Richard Levy um, with a decent score there. Needed to immediately bounce back, and we did. Uh, Nottinghamshire, 151 for 6 after their 20. Uh, Sanderson, 3 for 18. Uh, very good. Didn't think we'll get this total. We needed about 14 runs with the last pair, and Sanderson played a little cameo, which was good. But it should never have been that difficult. Like Cobb and Levy, 55 and 36, and then just nothing. Uh, Carter, 415. Probably more so man the match more than Cobb, to be honest. So we played uh, Warwickshire in our next game, and it was a pretty comprehensive uh, performance from the guys. Uh, we got... A good wee partnership, a crucial partnership between Lubbershane and Cotton that got us to that score. And we got them for 72 all out. And Sanderson, 5 for 28, continues his good 20 over trophy form. Good to see him back in form too because he was just out of sorts for most of the uh, season. And then the, just the recent game gone by, uh, we posted a very good score of 195 for 8. And I thought that would be a very good score with uh, Cobb, uh, 78 at the top. Rosenton 38, and he combined well with uh, Anderson at the end, who got an unlikely 37. But it wasn't to be. They got there very easily. Uh, Tattersall and uh, Cadmore uh, were striking well over 12 and over, and it was just, I couldn't contain them. Only bit of respectability was Lubbershane getting a few late strikes to 
make it um, hard the one it looked. But yeah, that leaves our record uh, four play, two win, uh, two loss. Uh, today's episode, guys, is the two uh, the two games. Just as a reminder, everyone, it'll be Derbyshire and uh, Durham. Let's get straight into it, uh, shall we? My team, we'll quickly just change this on the fly here. I'm pretty happy with how people have performed. I might take the uh, spinner out and bring Reese Topley back into the uh, team. Hope the rest has done him a good, world of good. Anderson's got a bit of exposure this season, which is good. Uh, we'll just put him on the second training. And yep, we'll go from there. Hopefully we get a win here today. We've been put into bat on a wicket that's wearing a little bit. Interesting decision uh, there from the uh, from the Derbyshire side. And they made a good start too. They've got the wicket of Willie who has got us up the fires and Cobb is gone. So that is not a great start. Four for two. So immediately rebuilding the innings when you can't simply do that in T20. So we're 10 for two after three overs. Need someone to take take this game and take the fight back to these guys immediately. Lovely shot. Levy is gone for five. So this is terrible batting from the Northamptonshire side. So we're just going to rebuild the innings, set our sights on about 140-150 and hope we bowl out of our skins. Looking to guys like Conor McCurra, Reese Topley, uh, Sanderson who's been in good form. Those guys really need to give us a similar sort of start that they got uh, with uh, three or four early wickets. So this partnership is looking okay at the moment. Henderton's doing a handy little knock. He should be averaging a little bit higher too. 19 doesn't justify how good of a player he actually has become across all formats. It's a lovely shot and it's been dropped. So that could be a bit of a lit off. That's a chance for um, Anderton to get a big score. He's 49 now. We're into the 10th over. But yeah, I love a couple wins on the episode today. Just to get these guys' confidence up. I, I personally think we may be able to survive a county championship relegation if we play good in the last four games. We're targeting... Um, Targeting two of those games. But, it, like, like if we get rally it's not the end of the world. We're still going to get regular good crickets. And more chances to develop um, a few players um, in our uh, lineup. Lovely shot from Anderton. It's starting to... Up now, these guys have done a magnificent job giving us some sort of platform to work with. All time record eight overs to bats, a couple of decent overs from the uh, Derbyshire side have pegged it back a little bit. One about 160. Can we get it? Can we get it? 10 and over from here will get 170, which would be a little bit better. A little probably want that for a bit of insurance because it is hard to defend. In T20s, if guys get really going. Lovely shot from Anderton again. Squizzard 100 run partnership between the two guys now. All time record as well. Got the edge off the bat. And a good knock. Just need it to continue for a few more overs. Edge. Not not the best, not the best of overs here. And high score against uh, Derbyshire. Okay, I've got a couple more overs to bat. Just need a good, very good finish. Lovely shot. That is one bounce for. I thought that was going for 60 for a second. Sort of 
this is very good. A couple of big shots though. 142 for three. Lovely shots. Better good uh, Q. And Anton's gone for a welcome pile with 82 of 57 deliveries. He was a very good anchor for the innings. This means our batsman towards the end have got a bit of a license. Just need a 20 of 10 delivery sort of innings now, and we should get a decent score. Shot from Rosenton. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. 14 of 5, doesn't matter. It's got us a score, competitive score of. Um, 160 odd. Have a Shane gone. Have a shot Cotton. 166 for 6 we posted. Thanks to the contributions of Anderson and Co. Uh, that has certainly given us something to bowl to. Just as long as we deliver. The first 6 hours are really important for us. Let's get the early breakthroughs. They've been very expensive. We're going at 11s. Okay, get back. Top Lee. Gets the wicket of Deploy. And gets the wicket of... Uh, we get the run out of Lee. So, oh, this is a good over. In terms of wickets. Pope's gone as well. And the field is going out pretty much. Didn't put Top Lee's field out. But Top Lee will bowl a three over our spell here. Pretty interesting match. Late field. Big moments in the game. It's in Derbyshire's favour, I have to say, because of their uh, run rate being high. Their, their run rate required being quite low. That's what I'm trying to say there. Need a good spell. One good spell, guys. Just the wickets in hand for Derbyshire will be a bit of a concern to them. Labashane's having a very good spell. He has these every now and then. It's Anderson. Gets the strike. This game is anyone's really. I'd say it's advantage us though, because we've got the Conor McCurra's X Factor pace. Top Lee. Lehman is the man that we need to get out. He's the man it is in. Got over. No, it wasn't. 4 off 12 required. I need a wicket. Oh, he's got the edge for 4. That's an unfortunate defeat. There was a chance of winning that game, and we've let it slip from the grasp of our fingers, uh, pretty much. Uh, Lehman, composed under pressure. Good good spell from uh, Labuschagne. He's actually bowled quite well in the uh, 20 over stuff, not so much in the other um, stuff. He's only a, really a part-time uh, spinner. So the, the seventh spot, uh, early days in the uh, competition though. Let's see how well we go against uh, Durham. Just a wee bit of news too, guys. Uh, we got a new, um, reasonably good, promising um, player, Justin Cranshaw. Should give him a go. Curry may get a go as well. He's only 19. Got a hundred and other first class game, but not too much else there. Uh, let's see. We've got to get our. Uh, Training's done as well. More importantly, we'll give that to Connor McCurr. I want to get his defensive bowling up. If he gets that aspect right, he's good to go. So Curry won't get much time. I think Cranshaw's the better batsman. Just at the moment, uh, team is going to stay the same. Hopefully, they can bounce back from that uh, very narrow loss uh, to Derbyshire. Need Willie to really uh, set the tone of the innings. He is X Factor. Written all over him. Like, can get an 80 or 40 deliveries. He's one of those sort of guys. He has played quite a few years for England uh, as well. He's out for five, though. Just hasn't quite delivered for us in terms of the season. If you look at his first class stuff, it's been average, but the limited overclothing thing's been mainly with England. So we can, we can break it down, actually, just what he's done. He actually has played for us before. Before we signed him up again. Cobb. 
It's been a lot better than last season. Anyway, we had an opening problem last season. No one could get by a run, but at least we're getting some decent starts. Nice right from Richard Levy. Supporting Cobb at the other end. That's a very poor misfield. Going to really target these bowlers now. Just need this last two or three more overs, pretty much. Get the platform. And then we've got the um, guys that I believe can do it. Levy's run himself out, so we'll just have to tone it down just a wee bit. And Tin, the man that got 82 in the last game, has not survived long at the crease. Out for a duck. Just a bad patch of play. Rebound from that. So we're posting something competitive anyway. Not taking a step backwards. Cobb's got a very nice 50 compiled. This is another very good over. He's taken on uh, Mark Wood. Free hits. And he's got him clean bold on the free hit. These guys need to learn how to run between the wickets. That is abysmal. Why would you run when the field is right there and close? You'd only do that off the last ball if you needed a desperate run. You'd just hope for the um, missing of the wickets. Or the keeper that missed the ball. Now we've got a lot of work to do. It's just the way the batting's been this season. It's just up and down. It has probably been like that um, ever since I took over uh, the role. Uh, just got to get those youth guys uh, some experience and hopefully they can get some consistency um, about them. Lovely shot from Cotton. Here's a decent um, 20 over average actually of 16. That may not seem much but for a number 8 that's not bad. Shane. 15 off 8. 137 for 6. all the way. At least we've got a chance of getting about 160. Launch again. Cotton's played another outstanding hand. Seen to deliver with the ball as well. Can we get one big over from the last two to get to 170? Maybe just outside of our reach. It's playing and missing too much now. Cotton. Hit the six. Back to back sixes. Cotton teeing off here. And a four. That's a good over. And some all time records in the, uh, this particular episode. Can we get to 180? Another shade. Can we do? 180 for six. Off our 20 overs, good knock at the end uh, from Cotton, of all people, and Cobb um, got up front again. So this is a very defendable score, just need a good start with the ball. McCurr has exactly done that. Sanderson. Just got to keep these guys up front bowling, I think. They're on a bit of a rhythm. This is the winning and losing of the game here. Sanderson, fantastic spell. Sorry from Conor McCurr. Just really taking the life out of the Durham innings. And outstanding stuff from both men. Both of them picking up Fifers and Durham have been absolutely crushed. Uh, in the final game of the episode, which leaves us with a record of six played, three win and three losses. We're sitting in fourth uh, spot on the 20 over trophy ladder. But, uh, in the next uh, episode, guys, um, we probably will be, just after the uh, county championship game, we'll take on a... We'll actually have a decent episode, I think. We'll go actually Warwickshire, Yorkshire and Watershire. Just to round up the T20 over trophy. 
But yeah, give the video a comment, like, uh, subscribe. I am really enjoying this series. I'm pumping out a lot of episodes. Like, you can see the progression of our team anyway, like, for good or for worse. But yeah, keep tuning in. If you're watching the episodes, please keep continuing commenting. I'm, I will be checking every single comment. I like replying back to you guys. But for now, we will catch you later.